Lou Elizondo convinced Navy pilot Lieutenant Ryan Graves to go public about his squadron's extraordinary encounters with UFOs. I've had conversations with friends from other squadrons. It's just, hey, there's stuff out there. I hope we don't hit it now, because they're out there enough where someone could potentially have a midair. Something needs to be done. But after months of trying to persuade other pilots from the USS Theodore Roosevelt to speak out, Elizondo's hit a wall. The jet's weapon systems officer allegedly heard throughout the Roosevelt videos. There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. Has backed out of an interview. The person's voice you hear in that video, that is the guy um, that we were in contact with. This had the potential to really help shed light to get a better handle of what's going on. Kind of sucks, actually. While there are allegedly more than 50 Navy personnel who witnessed these UFOs, nearly all are afraid to come forward. So how you been, man? Good. So uh, how you feeling about this? Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. But Lieutenant Ryan Graves has been summoned to the nation's capital for a closed door meeting with members of Congress responsible for national security. They want to hear what happened when a fleet of UFOs appeared to stalk his carrier strike group. I'm not here to speculate or guess what it is. I can just simply provide uh, as many facts as I can about this. The fact that Lieutenant Graves is willing to put his career at risk and speak out publicly about this while he's still active duty military really speaks volumes about the frustration in trying to work through the system. One can only hope that, that his courage will be rewarded and that uh, people will pay attention. What would you like to walk away with at the end of this meeting you're about to have today? There's two issues here. One, uh, people aren't paying attention. And two, uh, there's a credibility problem uh, and a stigma related to this by observing hard facts and data from professionals and from our sensor systems. We can bring this to light in such a way that you can't just refute by saying, I don't believe you. Man, I hope you get a chance to tell him that. Like Lieutenant Graves, Lou Elizondo made his own decision to speak out when he quit the Pentagon's secret UFO unit in 2017. I think what Lou Elizondo and others have done is kind of break that mold a little bit, where it's OK to talk about this stuff. I mean, I've asked members of Congress about it, and they will tell me, yeah, you know, there's, there may be something to this. There's also a new generation of members of Congress. They're younger, they're more open-minded, they're not afraid to ask tough questions. I think we're now seeing a generation of elected leaders, but also national security officials, who are more willing to talk about this issue and don't see it as much as a third rail. I think ultimately it's a discussion the American people have to have with themselves and then tell your political leaders what you expect and what you want done. Lieutenant Graves' secret meeting lasted 90 minutes. It was off any public schedule and unknown to members of the press. How'd it go? It seems like they recognize there is an issue, and they generally want to figure out what it is. His account was heard by members of the congressional committees that oversee national security, as well as a team from the Defense Department. At what point was it that people just stopped being interested in you know, unexplained things? I mean, that's kind of what drives us, right? We get out there and, you know, we're learning new things. At least that's what drives me. We're trying to explore the unknown. To see something every day and just kind of brush it aside and not want to raise the question about, hey, you know, this is curious. Maybe we should figure something out about this. It's just extremely frustrating that potentially whether this is some type of threat, uh, you know, globally here, if we have some type of, um, you know, red air threat that's out there gathering our waveforms and our tactics or something else, you know, if we're, if we're not curious, then what are we? 